Well, now I spent uh, a fair amount of time filming uh, from my, from my uh, the side of my crash helmet, like I normally do, only to discover that I've got microphone issues. So uh, all that film, all that footage, and absolutely no sound whatsoever. So I've had to order some new bits, and I'm going to re-mic my helmet up. Uh, the bits haven't arrived yet. So in the meantime, just to keep us going, there's a few little things that I have done. Ongoing things. Uh, like I've put the original indicators back on because I nearly got wiped out a couple of times by uh, blind car drivers. And at least they can see these ones when I'm indicating. I'd still like to put slightly smaller and nice and bright LED ones on, but that one's uh, that one's on the back burner at the moment. If I find something, I'll do it. Until I find something, we'll make do with the standard ones. Now the other thing I've done is I've finally got the mirrors sorted. I took an old um, bar from you know the, the mirrors that screw into these things here. That there is part of the bar from the mirrors. I've got one either side, one there, one there. And I've drilled it and counterboard it. Same on both ends. And they're actually bar end mirrors, just the mirror part. That's a cut up old piece of mirror bar mounted to the, uh, that's the clutch lever bracket. And on this side, mounted to the front brake lever bracket. Now they actually work, they're fairly well tucked in. I can still get at my horn, at my hazard lights. Never use the hazard lights. I can see behind me because they look under my armpit to the rear. Uh, they look nice and tucked in and neat. I mean, from this angle, they're out of the way. They don't clout the tank on full lock. And from the front, They make it a very, very uncluttered look. You can just see them poking out beneath the bars. And there you go. At the moment, that's about as much as I've done. Oh, I think I might have mentioned this before. I'm not sure whether I did. That is a tank bag that I couldn't strap on this, on the standard Triumph rack. So what I've done is I've actually, the three bolts that hold the rack on, I've actually poked through the bottom of this and it's now bolted through this into the rack. The rack's bolted to the bike. Now I just put cameras, house keys, phone, bits and pieces in there. I mean, obviously it's not very big, but it's not in the way and uh, I can get numerous little bits and pieces in there, things that don't clutter my pockets up. And also it's really easy to take off if I want to. That aside, I don't think I've done anything else to it. So bear with me, I'm going to get myself mic'd up again. I've got to uh, shoehorn all of the gubbins into my camera helmet. And uh, I'll be back in action, hopefully pretty pretty soon. So I'm sorry this isn't a uh, an action video, but stick with it, subscribe, like, tell your mates about it, tell them, I don't know what the next one will be about, it'll be me riding around ranting about something like I quite often do, but let them know, and uh, that will be in the very near future. Thanks for sticking with me, see you soon.